Hello everybody, I'm Artillery J. Welcome back to Burn House Lane. Uh, last episode we were in this apartment building and we need to find a way to get over to the neighboring apartment building. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get going here. Um, we had broken a hole in the floor, so let's get back downstairs. Sorry, I took a little, a little break from the game. Um, I had to go let the dogs out and... Um, kind of lost track of what I was doing for a second there um, but that's okay should be fine I know that I needed to come down this way so all right examine looks like it leads to looks like it leads to down to the basement okay that was worded weird Thought I was misreading it at first. Jeez, that all of a drop. How are you still standing? Ouch, indeed. Oh, damn, there was a, a save point right here. I could have just continued on last episode and saved here. Oh, well. It's saved now. Oh, what was over here? My shotgun, but what is it doing here on this pile of old rubbish? Collecting dust is what it's doing. Um, I have zero ammo for it, though. So, Examine. I should be able to unbolt it from this side. Where does it lead? Ah, okay. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So, that just loops around now okay I'm outside oh shit well I guess I'm here now take some shotgun shells go ahead and load her up Get up, run. No, I couldn't. Okay. I didn't realize that I needed to reload it. Um, didn't realize that it was going to... Um, yeah, I, I forgot that it fired two shots at the same time. Basically. thought I had another shot in there. Uh, let's go ahead and equip it. Oh, maybe not. That'll fall. Okay. Now let's go ahead and equip it. Take the shells. Reload. Hopefully, there's no more of those dudes. Okay. A little closer. There we go. Out of ammo again. Shit. Gonna have to juke past all these dudes. Um, uh oh. Well,
What do I do now? I'm out of ammo. And... Out of ammo and uh, trapped, basically. Well, I'm not sure. Not sure what I can do because I can't go past here. I'm out of bullets. No options at all. Well, I guess, um, try ah. try that. That was weird. Um, take the shotgun. Unbolt. All right. Um, so I, I guess I just gotta not miss my shot. I gotta not accidentally um, try to shoot this dude when he's too far away. Come a little closer, bud. So basically, I just needed to kill them all. <laughs> cool. Now if I can get some more ammo, that would be great. They literally gave you just enough bullets to kill all of them, too. Take shotgun shells. Search boxes. Nice. Well, shit. Again. 
literally have just enough shots on both of those little scenarios. Okay, cool. At least I got through it. Took me a couple tries, but we got there in the end. Alright, there's so there's a coffee shop there. Let's see if there's anything this way. 13. lift. That's literally it in this building for now. Okay. Just want to explore a little bit, see what is around, if anything. Kick. Ha! Where's this go? Oh, okay, back back here. Okay, easy enough. So I got a, a path back to the uh, to that area. Okay, cool. So let's go back to the coffee shop. He's dead, and why do I get the feeling that he did this to himself? That he just gave up? I'll take the scissors, though. Um, oh, it's Ben. Oh, jeez. I forgive you for what you did. I know you didn't want to hurt me. I was wa wondering why I had the option to forgive him. Brutal. Sorry, Ben. Sam, and this coffee machine looks like it could still work. Espresso, latte, cappuccino. I don't have a cup though, so. Okay. Clearly something is missing. Yeah. A cup. <laughs> Clean coffee cups are stacked here. Take. Take. I already have one. Okay. Uh, the valve handle is broken off. I need some tool to turn it. That way, coffee's not coming out, only milk. Take a closer look. Use that. And then make a latte. Latte is the only one that has milk, right? got milk for my kitties. Okay, cool. I got milk from for the cat and I've got what was up with the, the bell? Oh was that just for the door of the coffee shop maybe? Um yeah I've got milk for the cat and I've got scissors. Still got my wrench too so I didn't lose that. All right, building 13. Explore this now. The lift appears to be out of order. Press the button and nothing happens, okay. So clearly not meant to be here yet. All right, I guess we just move forward. Um, go down the little thing and back to the other building so that I can feed or give the cat milk <clears throat> and play some music.
right? That should be my goal at this point. Go ahead and save. There we go. And through the door. And then, uh, once I get all the way back up here, um, I don't remember which room the cat or the piano was in that the woman, the uh, strange lady was in. I think it was all the way on the top floor. But let's check. Okay, yeah, definitely not this one. Yes, this one. Okay. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I can put this in here. Aha. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming, and the lamp light o'er him streaming throws his shadows on the floor, and my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted ever, never more. Oh, is that uh, Poe? Keep my light bulb. Thank you very much. This is where someone's been leaving milk for the cat, but all the bowls are empty and there are no cats in sight. Okay. So place the milk here. It's an old piano. I could play it, but the lid appears to be locked and I don't have a key. Of course. sure what I'm supposed to do here. Let's go ahead and save real quick. Okay. Get over here. think there was anything else in here. Okay. So nothing changed there. Try some options there. Turn off. Grab my light bulb. I 
just trying different things, trying to see what I'm actually supposed to do. Play piano to summon the cat. But I don't have a key to unlock the piano. Maybe she's got the key. I didn't try asking her. Wait, what did you say I have to do? Nope. Well, I thought you should summon the cat. Just leave a bowl of milk for him right there on the edge of the chasm. Then play the piano to let him know it's there. Can I use this piano here? Of course. That's what it's here for. Do you have a key? Unfortunately... It's currently locked. Of course it is. It's this stupid neighbor. He locked it. He barged in here shouting something about the noise and waving his arms in the air. And then he grabbed the key and swallowed it. I'm going to have to use the scissors now, to cut it out of him, are I? I can't play. Looks like I'll have to talk to him. You better hurry. Last I heard... He wasn't feeling too well. Yeah, he's he's kind of corpsey and shit. Thanks. Okay, got it. It's time for me. Be careful. I heard. St it's fine. Okay, okay I already okay. did. All right. Is it easy enough? Well, hopefully it's easy enough. Um down here. Alright, buddy. Need that key. Examine. I've cut his belly open. Am I the monster here? Oh, shit. I didn't realize there was more dialogue. Somehow it felt like the right thing to do. It always does. It's too dark to see anything in there. I should put the light on. This man is full of keys. How do I know which is the right one? But which one? They all look the same. So many keys, he just couldn't live like this any longer. Buddy, I, I don't fucking know. Um, just take all of them. Okay, maybe Another light bulb. Aha. Take the going key. Plant. Remove light bulb. Okay, cool. Okay, back up. Sheesh. So many steps. <laughs> so many steps to go through just to do one simple thing. All right. Now, hopefully, I should be able to summon the damn cat. Hey, there we go. Uh, Mozart, My Funny Valentine, Claire de Lune, improvise using only white keys. Um...
not going to be able to hear it because I've got the music turned off. Although I would have figured that that would have been a sound effect, but whatever. Wait, how did the rest of it go? I don't know. Um... Get a little bit of music going. Play. got one of those uh, fidget toy things. He's a little worm. I like him. He feels like my fingers are made of wood. Mozart? I'm going to have to improvise using light keys, aren't I? I've also got one. He's a little dragon. I haven't played for quite a while. My fingers are a bit rusty. Well, improvising is playing from the heart, I guess, so. Which is what she told me to do. And it seems to have worked. Hey, Moonlight. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you again. That's a good cat. I'm gonna have him some milk. All right. It worked. This is incredible. Cats are magical creatures. Everyone knows that. Hey, how you doing there, mate? You all right? Okay, you pet him now. And then we shall go over to the other building and wait for the elevator. Huh? Okay. I'll explain it later. Now go on, show him some love. All right, let's, uh... Turn the music back down. Gosh dang it. Okay, there we go. The uh, the options menu seems to be slightly buggy. Um, if you do things too quick, it doesn't want to like it doesn't respond quick enough or something I don't know alright so we are controlling moonlight I'm Rob, I'm Rob, I'm Rob okay so here's the plan we need to get up to the top floor. That's where the box is. Behind the red door. Apartment 13. It's locked, but I can handle it. Okay. How exactly? Um, I've been known for my ability to unlock things with lockpicks. Come down there, Jill Valentine. I'm not a burglar or anything, but it's a useful skill to have. Sometimes, it even saves lives. The problem is with the elevator. It doesn't work like it should. 
and that's where our friend Moonlight steps in. It's kind of tricky, so listen carefully. There's this device up there, a scale of swords. Moonlight can bring items scattered around here and place them on the scale. If he picks the right ones, the elevator should go straight to the top. What sort of items are we talking about? Well, at first glance, they're just ordinary, everyday objects. But they all represent the good and bad things that people like us will never get to experience in life anymore. And how is a bloody cat supposed to know what they are? Cats know more than you think. I thought you'd understand that by now. Come on then, let's get in the elevator. Alright. Find three items that represent the best sides of life that Angie and the girl will not live to experience. Place them in the scale above the elevator shaft. The elevator will move to the top when right bowl fully outweighs the left. Okay. There's door 13. Well, he's having a bad time. No oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Guess I was supposed to, though. I mean, there's a crow up there. Okay, there's one item. in here apparently where is there no there's not oh shit the fuck why didn't he land on the balcony Money, hair, okay. I mean, is that it? Is that what I was supposed to be doing? I guess. So much that I didn't explore, though.
seriously. Okay. I'm not going to question it. I think I can see the red door. But not quite there yet. Let's go down and start again, shall we? Okay, maybe that wasn't it. All right, so I, I feel like the money and the hair were probably not the answers. The wedding ring might have been. Let's head down this way. is what matters to matters a lot to some cards gambling they're just a way one can prove their value to others and get rich of course but a true player doesn't play for the money they play to win I, I feel like that's probably not it let's go over this way A fine whiskey, an expensive bottle like this is undoubtedly a sign of luxury, but this strong beverage has been known to destroy lives too. Under its influence, bonds were made and bonds were broken. It is both poison and poetry contained in a glass. Gross. Who will? A trophy is a symbol of achieving great things in life, a reward for one's efforts, but is it always worth it? Do we really need the admiration of strangers to live, hap live a happy life? trophy in here there is whiskey there's a playing card where does this go drugs they're always a terrible idea and yet some reach for them for various reasons sure drugs make their teeth rot and eventually kill them but there's no denying they provide a a thrill they can't get anywhere else. Okay. And I can't go down there. Alright, so drugs, whiskey, gambling, um, a trophy. I feel like the ring was a good start. It's going to be food of some sort. Everyone eats food, but not everyone truly enjoys it. To some, it's a means to survive. To others, ultimate pleasure. One they appreciate even more once it's taken away from them. This way. A tiny baby sock, so small it almost seems impossible that it could fit someone's foot, and yet it does. Is there anything cuter than that? A symbol of new life, of an expanding family, but not everyone's dream is to have a family. Some choose to follow other goals in life, and they find the thought of parenthood nothing but terrifying. I'm going to go ahead and take the baby sock. I think that that would probably be 
on the right track. Okay. All right, I'm gonna skip past the drugs, uh, the gambling, the whiskey, um, the trophy. Get up here, please. Okay. There we go. There's probably something under me in that little, like, space. So let's circle back around real quick. Head back down. And up the other side, up here. All right. Let's see, I feel like there's got to be something up here, right? No. Well, that's weird. Okay. Okay, so back in this room. I didn't know that I could read all of these, so. Can money buy happiness? Yes, according to most, but it can also poison our hearts with greed. Millions have spilled blood and died in its name, both on battlefields and in dark alleys. For a better life, some are even willing to sacrifice their own souls. Okay. A single strand of silver gray hair, the old age is something we all fear. It makes us weak, it signifies the end of our lifespans, it's a sign of decay, but at the same time it is proof of experience, of wisdom. An old person who's lived a happy life will die peacefully surrounded by a loving family. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Okay. I really feel like it's probably the ring. A wedding ring is supposed to be a symbol of everlasting love between two people, a bond that cannot be broken no matter what. But how often is that true? How many couples end up going their separate ways? Is love even real? Well, it's what I'm going to take, and we will we will find out if love is in fact real. Oh, it's not this way. That one is a dead end. Let's go, kitty. I think that's it. I mean, of all of the things that I looked at and read, I think that those are the three that are probably the most um, reason for living, I guess. Love procreation on a long life? Maybe not, but it went all the way to the floor this time, so. Did we make it? It looks like we made it. Cool. Alright. This is it! Now let's get inside. Alright, Master of Unlocking. Time for a smoke. Spiders. Uh, uh. My eight-legged number one nemesis. I kind of like them. You know, there's this dark, indescribable beauty in spiders. Really? Look at those spider eggs. Or whatever the fuck they are. They look beautiful to you. Yeah, okay. That's fucking gross. 
<laughs> Are we done talking? Alright. Go ahead and smoke real quick. That wasn't okay. This has to be the treasure I've been looking for. The doll. Giant spider. Sounds like it got in. Oh shit. Ah, fuck. I was out of dash. Oh, okay. Maybe I was meant to do that? Relax. You're safe now. Whatever you saw in there. It's gone. For now, at least. <sighs> cool. Oh, yes, I can talk. It's almost dawn. I no longer feel the hunger inside. That means you're free to speak to me, too. I see you have the box. Good. I do. Now, put it on the big rock and open it. Okay. Open. Is it a spider? Let's look inside. It's a cigarette. Good. Almost done here. Last but not least, you must cut your hand. We need a drop of your blood to soak into the cigarette. So a drop of blood needs to fall onto this cigarette. This shouldn't be a problem. Just need something sharp. Okay. That did something. Alright. Come on. There we go. smokes this cigarette will receive your cancer. Oh. Choose carefully who you give it to. Once the smoke hits their oh. lungs, there will be no going back. Only death and suffering. And for you, a new life. Now forget you ever saw me. I was just a dream. A ghost, a shadow. One day we'll meet again. I'll take you with me for a long walk down to the river. But don't trouble yourself with that now. Now it's time to celebrate your success. Okay. Shouldn't you smile?
Was Mr. Fox really just a dream? Oh, what difference does it make? What matters now is that all your tasks are done. You got what you wanted. Oh, fuck is on? Oh, it's a gap. Well, almost. It'll all be over as soon as someone smokes that special cigarette of yours. Easy to say. I didn't know it would be like this. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I can do this. Take your time. But not too long. Soon the sickness will make you weak, and then... Well, let's just say that it would be such a shame to waste your gift after you worked so hard for it. Don't you think? Okay, it's the end of chapter six. Time for chapter seven. The lab. Okay, cool. So the uh, door in the basement, I guess I'm going to be going through that now. All right. Hey, George. Angie? You all right? You haven't come down all day. I'm getting worried about you, dear. I'm sorry. I... I didn't realize. I've not been feeling too well. Oh. But I'll be down in a minute. What? Uh, no. No, no, no. You you stay in bed, darling. I, I'm managing perfectly fine here on my own. So take your time and rest, and, and don't worry about a thing. I'll go and make you a cup of tea, shall I? And a nice sandwich. Yes. I bet you'll feel better once you've had some food in you. Will it be a strange sandwich? Because that seems to be the only thing I can make. You need anything, nurse? I'm going into town. I could stop at the pharmacy, get you some cough syrup or painkillers or something. No need, Kieran. Thanks, but... I just need some rest, that's all. You sure? Because that's no bother. Not at all. I'll be fine. Well, okay. But give us a shout if you need anything. And grab me some smokes yeah. while you're out. Because, uh, I, um, we're all worried about you, nurse. How's your head after that headbutt? I rocked this damn world with that shit. Wow. You're not still upset about, you know, when I pushed you? Oh, yeah, you're getting a fucking cigarette, bitch. Because I was really drunk at the time, and I just fucking... <sighs> snapped. But that was not cool. And I know that. Okay? And I'm sorry. Fuck you. Well, I tried. Go ahead. Play the fucking victim if that's your decision. It's not like it matters that I'd almost died in Father Rob's dungeon. And yet, that didn't stop me from saving your ass in that stupid forest, did it? But fine. Suit yourself. I'm out of here. Oh man, I there's no such thing as a bad sandwich, really. It don't matter what you put on it. Still make for a hearty meal. But I'm an old man. I know what I like. And I know what I don't. And nothing beats a good old ham and mustard. If you ask me. Ham and mustard, now I know. Well, I can make you one, if you're hungry. Not now, dear. I'm alright. It's just good to have you back, you know? That's very sweet of you, George. Thank you. But... Won't be long before your regular care is back. I feel like I've not been very helpful the last couple of weeks. I should be looking after you, not the other way around. 
I should be looking after you, not the other way around. Oh, we can still do more than everyone thinks I'm capable of. The truth is, I don't even need a carer. But Sarah insisted, and I just didn't want to fight her. I wouldn't fight her either. She can kill people with just her eyes. But it's been nice having you around. You never shout at me. You give me sandwiches. And you're, you're good company. I like you, Angie. And helping you when you're sick. It's the least I can do. I feel like I've not been very helpful the last couple of weeks. Son and That's egg. fine. Uh, well, he can still take care of himself and the farm. And it's not like he's completely without help. <clears throat> well, I can see you've had a good shave and you're wearing clean clothes. Oh, yes. Thank you for noticing. Still, I should have done more. Don't be silly. When you're sick, you're sick. And there's nothing you can do about it. It won't be long before your regular care is back. God, no. We almost forgot about Stinky Joyce. Stinky Joyce? I didn't realise she had a nickname. Oh, yeah. She smells so weird, I swear. She really does. And I'm not even sensitive to smells or anything. I'm a bloody farmer, for God's sake. I've been around cows all my life. And let me tell you, dear, cows don't smell like daisies. <laughs> That's for sure. But the smell Joyce has on her. But it's like... Oh, I don't know. Death? It's like chemicals. For some reason, I can't stand it. It really bothers me. Does she smoke by chance? I should get back to work. Tell me what needs to be done, George. Oh, well, I would like to ask you a favour, actually. Yeah? What is it? Just uh, come to the living room. And uh, grab that bag of crisps on the way, would you? Grab the crisps. It's a bag of salt and vinegar crisps. George asked me to bring it. Not right now, okay. Can I go upstairs before? No, no, nope. There you are. And pass the crisps. The film's about to start. A film? Yes, an American one. So sit down, put your feet up, make yourself comfy. Okay. It. Oh, I've watched it before, but that's okay. It's one of those movies you can keep watching again and again. Where's Jenny? She's become a basement dweller lately. Whatever her problem is, she don't want to share it with me. And I don't intend to pry. It's Titanic. I hear the uh, music. Oh, come on. There's plenty of room. <laughs> Just get on that bloody door. Yep. Well, they'd both fall in the water if we did that. But she could just scooch over or something. I swear, it feels like she just wants him to freeze to death. Nice. What am I waiting for? Time's running out. I can feel it. I should just do it. I give it to someone. Leave and start again away from it all. Even if saving my life this way means losing my soul. Alright, let's go ahead and save. My head's killing me. My whole body aches. I should find some pain relief. I have a cigarette. Just don't smoke the wrong one. You know? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and call it here, guys. Uh, next episode, I think we'll probably be finishing the game. Ow, that hurt. 
Um, so, fingers crossed, next episode will be the last one, but we'll see. So, until next time, take care of yourself. Later. Thank you.